I believe that an effective wardrobe is really one that caters to your needs and your values. Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create a personalized capsule wardrobe for a short trip where you're going to be doing a multitude of activities all the way from casual things like going to the market to maybe going out to dinner with friends or family. And in a city where the weather can go from hot to cold to just right or overcast or cloudy to rain. I'm here in Adelaide, South Australia right now, and that's exactly what I packed for. So I'm gonna show you exactly what it means to have a personalized capsule wardrobe. Because you know, when you think about the words capsule wardrobe, we can instantly go to the idea of black, white, cream, and absolute minimal, which I love, by the way, I love that style. But sometimes you might be in the mood to spice it up a little bit. And what I mean by spicing it up is you wanna do something a little bit more colorful or maybe more textured, maybe some things that aren't necessarily classified as capsule wardrobe items. So for me to do that effectively, let me go ahead and show you the pieces that I packed and let me unpack pun unintended, completely unplanned. The outfits that this can make and why this is such a versatile outfit. You might be a bit surprised that when you see these pieces, you'll be like, Christine, how on earth? Let's do it. Check it out. This is the capsule set at a glance, which represents my personal style. Let me show you what the individual pieces are in a clearer way. Starting off with this shirt jacket, these quilted shorts, matching set with this crop top and maxi skirt, this beige knit tank top, another matching set, black jumper, black sweatpants, this white shoulder pad tank top, this black shoulder pad tank top, mid wash blue denim jeans, brown tank top, chestnut colored wide leg trouser, black bike shorts, light wash blue denim shorts, my black cap, these are the shoes. We've got black workout sneakers for the gym. We've got white sneakers. I did choose the one with the black logo detail, not the all plain white one. Skin tone flats, skin tone heels. And jewelry, including this one. I got this canister from Kmart. It's great, I like carrying my jewelry here. It stops my necklaces from getting tangled with everything else. Let's be clear that this isn't necessarily a check-in luggage only kind of capsule wardrobe kind of packing. This is for the girl who's got check-in luggage and wants to have more options than what meets the eye with different colors and textures. You know, when you go on holiday, sometimes you will go with the flow or you will want to go with the flow, such as you'll go, I'm gonna get dressed, I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna get a coffee. And then you see a fiesta and it's happening in an hour and you're like, I wanna join that fiesta. But then you're like, but I'm wearing my pambajas. You gotta go, oh, okay, well then I've gotta go back to the hotel, get changed. Whereas in this way of packing, your clothes will flow a lot better because you will look cohesive, you will look sharp, and therefore everything becomes a lot more versatile and it's a lot easier to go with the flow. So you don't really feel insecure about underpacking or not being able to cater to surprise things that you wanna do on your trip. Now, as we've been chatting, you've been noticing some videos about some outfits that I've put together. So like I said, let's go ahead and unpack these outfits. Number one, notice that the color scheme is all kind of warm-ish and autumn-like. So we've got olive green, different shades of brown. We've got our neutrals, black and white. And of course, we've got our neutral. Let's call it the neutral piece, which is the denim piece. Because denim will go with color, it'll go with neutrals, it will go with basically anything. So that's our neutral piece. Let's break it down some more. What makes for a versatile personalized capsule wardrobe set? We have three main things, color coordination, shape coordination, and texture coordination. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Notice we actually have a pair of dress pants, right? And dress pants are great in making something a little bit more dressy, a little bit sharper because they are tailored. So whenever I'm wearing like a tank top like this or the other tank tops that you've seen that I've paired with these dress pants, you'll notice that we've been able to take tank top to stylish tank top. When we want to dress it down a little bit more, we can pair it with the denim jeans or the denim shorts, or in fact, even the quilted shorts. The same goes for all the other pieces. They're all very interchangeable because the shapes complement each other. Now you'll notice as well, with the tops, we have tops which have a relaxed fit and we also have tops which are a little bit more form fitted. So what that means is that when I swap my pants with my tops, 
I can choose the fit of the top to complement the fit of the bottom because I have options of relaxed fit and more form fitting. Now, the last thing I mentioned was shape. Oh, it wasn't shape, it is texture. Texture coordination. You'll notice that with the plain fabrics like this, cotton, we had knit, we had linen, they're all sort of like flat fabrics. The most texturized item that we have here is this quilted set. And this quilted set, the texture is kind of subtle because it's in the quilting that the texture is different. When you have lots of different textured pieces in your wardrobe or lots of printed pieces in your wardrobe, it actually becomes a little bit harder to match them because not only does the print have to match, but the colorway of the tops and bottoms have to match for it to flow nicely. Whereas when you have like texture, let's say you have one textured set, it's easy to pair that one textured set with everything else you've got in your wardrobe because it is the only piece in your outfit that has texture. The only two pieces which we wouldn't really mix and match here is the crop top and maxi skirt and the quilted jacket just because we've got print already happening and then we've got texture happening and they're kind of like a different genre. That's the risk we run. No, just kidding. The real truth for me anyway, personally, when I go to a place where the weather is gonna be super hot one day and then maybe it's gonna get really cold in the night time. If I have an activity that I know is gonna be from day till night, I'll specifically cater to that. But because I know the weather here in Adelaide is a little bit more like, oh, it's gonna be super hot in the day. And this activity that I'm gonna be dressing for, such as the rooftop bar tomorrow, it's only gonna be happening at lunchtime. And then I go back to the hotel, unless we have a change of plans. So what I'm saying is there are just some outfits which is just gonna be for that event, you know what I mean? And I can still dress up and dress down the skirt and the top by wearing it with other pieces. But this is gonna be kind of like my statement outfit for the trip and I don't really have too many expectations from this outfit. If it ends up being too cold on the day that we go to the rooftop bar, then it's just the outfit that I'll be like, this is not your moment. We're gonna come home. Well, we're gonna find another moment for you and that's no problem. At the end of the day, when it comes to building your wardrobe and therefore your capsule wardrobe for your travel, it's really based on your value set and it's also based on your personality type. And if you know anything about human design, it might even be based on your human design to those who are into the esoteric, which I don't know if that's really classified as esoteric. This might count for you. I've worked with people who love the minimalist lifestyle and their wardrobe will look very different from someone who enjoys the concept concept of minimalism, but may get bored. What is exciting to one person may be very boring to someone else and vice versa. So there's no right or wrong way to really go about this. I believe that an effective wardrobe is really one that caters to your needs and your values. And this is one of my values. You know, I wanted to have a cute little outfit that may or may not get worn on my trip and that's on me. <laughs> The cool thing is I also have my backup. If that outfit doesn't work out, I know that I can wear any of the outfits, probably the one with the wide leg trousers because it's more stressed up, but I know I can pull that piece, dress it up and wear it to the rooftop lunch and I'll still feel great. And that's my personal choice. So I do wanna draw on a couple of things that did make it a lot easier to create this capsule wardrobe set. And guess what it is? It is the pieces that came from my original capsule wardrobe, such as the white and black tank, the denim pants, the footwear is definitely from the capsule wardrobe and the black sweater and pants set that I got from Les the label. If you haven't done the ultimate capsule wardrobe workshop, please, I urge you to go into the description box of this video. It is the ultimate capsule wardrobe workshop, which will guide you through to creating your capsule wardrobe. Now, there is another workshop where we set your wardrobe creation and your personal style creation in chronological order. And that is called the five phases to building your personal style masterclass. And you'll find that in the description as well. These pieces really came from the stage one of Ultimate Capsule Wardrobe. And then the rest of the pieces, such as the print and the textured pieces, they all come from stage three, four, and five of building your personalized style and wardrobe. That brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, give us a like. If you have any comments or questions, pop them in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do, don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified when new videos are out because I'm just trying to understand the groove of my timing and frequency of posting YouTube videos. But yeah, when you click that notification bell, you won't miss out. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye.